How's it going everybody? My name is Talon Lister and today I'm coming to you here from Blair Tech and we're going to be showing you how to connect dual monitors to your Blair Tech system. Now the system that we're going to be using today is a Dell Optiplex 7010 small form factor tower, but this will apply to any Blair Tech system that ships with a dual monitor setup. Let's get into it. So in the box, you'll have two VGA cables, that's these cables right here, and you'll also have a display port to VGA adapter. This is crucial for getting this set up to work, but I'll go over that more in a moment. We're gonna take the first VGA cable and we're gonna connect the first monitor to our computer. You do that like this. This is the VGA cable. So we'll take the first VGA cable and we'll connect it into the monitor like this and then there are two thumb screws. You'll just lightly tighten these. You wanna make sure that you don't tighten them too tight to where you can't get them back off later. Those just help keep the cable in place. So we'll take the other end of the VGA cable and we'll connect it into the VGA port. Here on the back of the computer, it's this blue connector. And we'll do the same thing again, two thumb screws. Be sure not to tighten them too tight. You wanna be able to take it off at some point in the future. So the next step is we're gonna take our display port to VGA cable and connect it to our VGA cable. So you'll just take this out of the package and this is what the VGA to display port adapter looks like. It's got this, a display port connector on one end and then this, a VGA connector on the other. We're gonna take this we're gonna connect one end of our VGA cable into our adapter. Again, be sure you screw it in so this doesn't come unhooked. Just through two thumb screws. Again, don't do it too tight. You wanna be able to get it back off at some point. So now that we've got this cable connected, now we can just connect this to the two ends of our PC. So next you'll take the display port end of your cable. Notice how there is a notch side so you can't plug it in the wrong way. You'll take this and you'll connect it into the display port connector on the back of your PC. So now that we have both of our monitors connected into our computer, I'm now gonna take you into the Windows interface and I'm gonna show you guys how to configure this to extend your desktop across both displays and not just show the same thing on both of them. So once you get through the Windows setup experience, you'll be greeted with this display here. This is just your desktop. Now in this case, the monitors are already set up to extend and sometimes it will do this for you. But just in case the monitors are not in the order that you want them to be, or just in case it's showing the same image on both, I'll show you guys how to do that now. So what you'll do is you'll come down here to the search bar and you'll type display. And it'll pull up display settings. You'll just go ahead and click this. And now this will show your displays. So you can see here, if I click the identify button, it'll show me which one is which. The left one in this case is number one and the right one is number two. Just in case that these are not in the order that you want them to be, or it's showing the same image on both, I'll show you guys how to go through and do that. So you'll scroll down and you'll see here that the option under multiple displays is selected, extend these displays. That's what you want if you want to maximize your productivity and show different things on both displays. Just in case it shows duplicate this displays, I'll go ahead and keep changes. You can see here, I'm showing the same image on both. If it has this, you'll click this button and you'll click extend these displays. And then you'll click keep changes. And that's how you show two images on two machines. Now, just in case that they are out of order, obviously you'll see here, the left one is number one and the right one is number two. If I wanna change this, all I have to do is drag. So I'll just drag this one to the other side of this and now it puts it into this order. And I just click apply and now they are in a different order. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. Now you know how to set up dual displays from Blair Tech. If you have any more questions, be sure you reach out to our customer support team and they'll be happy to provide further assistance. Have a great day.